50% of women have C-sections, but two out of three may have a defect that nobody ever told them about. What is it? It's so common and yet, unfortunately, so misunderstood and underdiagnosed, even by physicians who should know about the condition. So after they, you know, the obstetrician makes the incisions to get down to the uterus to deliver the baby, the baby needs an escape hatch, right? So that's the incision across the lower part of the uterus. Once the baby is delivered, the uterus is then sewn back together in the delivery room. And of course, the obstetrician at that point is really focusing on we want to make this uterus stop bleeding. The problem ultimately is that in cases where the uterine scar doesn't heal correctly, there can be a small divot or pouch on the inner wall of the uterus. And then that actually becomes a very substantial source of inflammation. So blood will get trapped there during the menstrual cycle and it'll stay there literally for months. Yes, if you have had a C-section, you are probably never told about this potential issue, which affects up to 60% of people who have a C-section. It's called a cesarean scar niche, basically a small inward dent at the site of your old scar on the uterus. So according to a large systematic review, it affects about 60 to 80% of everyone who has had a cesarean section. Now, I'm really glad we're talking about this topic more because we're understanding more and more about it every single year. Now, most people don't even know that they've got a cesarean scar niche, but for a subset of people, it can explain some symptoms they might develop, like spotting after your period, pelvic discomfort, or unexplained fertility difficulties after you've had a previous cesarean section. So here is how we approach it. Firstly, we need to check that whatever symptoms you're having have not got another cause by checking your cervix, looking for infections. But then if we're worried it could be a cesarean scar niche, we do a transvaginal ultrasound scan, sometimes using saline. We can confirm if a niche is there and measure how much muscle remains, how much thickness there is to the uterine tissue. So who develops a niche like this? Well, the risk factors can depend on things like how many layers were used to close your C-section wound, how many C-sections that you might have had, potentially also how dilated you were at the time that you had your cesarean section. Then what happens depends on you, what you want, what your symptoms are, what your plans are for your fertility. So if you've got no symptoms, but we find out that you've got a scar niche, we often just monitor. But if you're having symptoms like you've got spotting or pain with your periods you didn't have before, and we're worried there could be a buildup of blood and inflammatory fluid in this niche, we might give you some hormonal medications. However, if your fertility is affected or the symptoms are severe, they don't improve with hormonal medications, we might recommend a minor surgical repair, which can potentially also be done via the vagina rather than opening up your scar again. But the takeaway is a scar niche is common. If you've had a cesarean section and you're seeing post-period spotting or issues with your fertility, it's worth asking if an ultrasound scan could be helpful for you. So let me know if this is something that has actually affected you before.